Today I will show you the full process from doing Kiki's Delivery Service cosplay. From literally making it to walking around the convention like an idiot. Let's begin. I bought a t-shirt for the dress, but it was a little too short as you can tell. So the only way I found fit to stretch it was this weird kneeing thing I'm doing. Yeah. And so basically this didn't work at all. <laughs> So I eventually took a shower with the shirt on, and let me tell you, it was disgusting. My favorite substitute teacher let me borrow her broom, so that was awesome. And here's me posing with it like an asshole. Yay. So then it was on to trying to do the birdcage, which in the end, I actually did not use this birdcage, so I went through that effort for nothing. I punched it out, the candle holder, and then boom, this is a reenactment because I was crying when I popped it off, let's just say my hands still hurt. So anyways, I had enough excitement for one day and it was off to grandma's house to finish this. So I just painted it. And it was for the bow on it though I painted string pink and now it's time for the actual bow on top of my head yes I measured it twice the length I would need for my head so I could fold it in half it all makes sense in a few minutes I then took my 20 inch fabric to the sewing machine and I sewed all around it except for one end. Basically what I did was I made a stuffed animal um, that was a bow and then I just left room for um, a place to put the headband. That's about it. And also, I did not have stuffing so as an alternative I used socks. I know, I know, but hey, whatever works, right? I took about three showers with my shirt, and fun fact, it works best when you use conditioner to straighten it out. And lastly, I need a Gigi. Well, I didn't have a black cat, so I decided to use my black bear hamster, because, well, you know, she's just cute like Gigi. Yay. Then after consideration, I realized that this is animal abuse, and I should not do that, and neither should you. So I put Gigi back, I mean Luna, and then... Yay, we were both happy. So then, it was off to packing. I threw that bow in the package, and I freaking slapped that shit shut. And then, here's the next day, when I arrived at the convention. I just did my makeup, typical anime girl shit, and <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun. So yeah. And honestly, I don't really have a tutorial for this because I didn't do much at all. I just basically put, you know, 
I just put the makeup on and hoped for the best. So then, the look was finished. Yas, and I got terrible shots of the full costume because of some lighting issues, but you, you get the gist, it's nothing intricate. So it was time to hop on my broom and go to the convention center. The convention was crowded, and I just took poses with a lot of the different things. So yeah, that was kind of creepy for people behind me. But overall it was great. And then this is me in the bathroom getting ready to go home. And then I arrived back at the hotel. Mecha Con 2017 was pretty great. But sadly it left my feet covered in blood. Uh, not fun. But that's about it. And here's some of the stuff I bought for Mecha Con 2017. I hope next year is just as great, and I don't know what I'm going to cosplay yet, so that's interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video, and puff, puff, 